everybody, and welcome to Leia's Lair. Here is our review of the Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi series, part two. We hope you enjoy. Alrighty, so, this episode opens up with Obi-Wan arriving on Dayu, which, I don't know about you, but I got some CD course on Underworld vibes. Yeah, it was definitely, uh, definitely like Coruscant. Like, when we pulled in there, I was like, oh, it's kind of like Coruscant, or like Lawful, or something like that. I was like, ah. But, yeah, Dayu, we get a, a planet that uh, that we haven't seen live action. It's also interesting, too, because, like, there was, like, the, um, the girl selling spice. Mm-hmm. And that, you know, just gave me the death stick vibes, too. <laughs> right? Everyone's always offering Obi-Wan something. You're right. I was, uh, I was uh, wondering if he was going to say that, like, you know, you need to go home and rethink your life. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we didn't get that, sadly. Um, but what we did get is uh, we got an old clone veteran. That was sweet. Just sitting there. As soon as you hear it, you can hear that raspy uh, Timur Morrison voice, and you're like... <gasps> And of course, it's a uh, it's a clone, and uh, we don't know which clone it is. Um, you know, I if don't, it's anybody I, even of significance, I don't know. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, it was cool to see that a uh, little shout out there. And I'm wondering if we will get to see, you know, more clones, or you know, you know, hoping that Rex or, or someone uh, shows up. You know, maybe we get to see uh, get to see some more clone action in uh, in this. But that was definitely cool, definitely throwback to to see that uh, come up in this episode. Yeah, I also. Thought it was really interesting to see how Obi reacted to the clone, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. at first he was almost, like, shocked by it, but then I feel like he, like, ended up pitying him because he gave him the credits that he was asking for. Yeah, it was almost like, yeah, it was almost like part of I got the sense that he almost wanted to, like, tell him, like, you know, it's me. <laughs> but, totally. like, he can't. So he's yeah. just like, okay, here's some credits. Like, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It, it was a really small interaction, but it's probably one of my favorite interactions uh, of this episode. Yeah, it was deep for sure. Mm-hmm. We get a uh, page of the fake Jedi. Oh man, that when the kid is like, I can teach you to the Jedi. I was like, who is it? Oh my god! And then it's just some fake Mace, Mace Windu. Right. <laughs> you know? No. Um, yeah, that's it. and then as soon as I saw him, I was like, okay, well. Um, I know there's rumors that, you know, he's going to get cast as Ezra or something like that. Totally. Uh, but obviously Ezra at this point is, uh, not even a Jedi, so... I don't even know. He's probably, like, a baby. No. I mean, he's, like, he's probably, like, what? He's probably, like, 14 or something in Rebels, so... Okay, so he's probably, like, 7 or 8 then. Yeah, so he's, uh, he's, he's around, but, uh, but yeah, that's obviously not him. Um, and I thought it was, I thought it was pretty funny, because it's, like, Obi-Wan just sees right through him. He's, like, yeah, this guy's not a Jedi. Um, I did want Obi to like, you know, prove to him what a Jedi really is. Like he, it's like he's so hesitant, obviously, to use any yeah. like of the Force or prove in any way that he is a Jedi. Mm-hmm. But I just want him to so bad. Yeah, it's like, but it it adds to that emotionality of him. It's like you know he's hesitant at this point. It's been like ten years since he's done anything, right? Totally. He's been, uh, He's been chilling for ten years, so you know, for him to be a hesitant, I think that it's uh, it's plausible, it's it's realistic, right? Of course, he's gonna be for sure. You know, if anyone gave up anything they're doing for ten years and then tried again, they're gonna be a little bit hesitant. So, um, I you know, I like seeing it. I like seeing these layers, and I and I and I'm thoroughly enjoying that. Uh, what Ewan, McGreg- <laughs> Ewan McGregor is bringing to this character. Definitely, and he does find Leia, so I was happy yeah. about that. I did, you know, sometimes. They really, like, set it up that they're going to meet, and then, like, they just miss each other by, like, a thread, you know? But he finds her, and, man, she gives him a run for his money. I was just laughing the entire time. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely she's like, oh, you're hiding something. He doesn't want to believe him. But it's like, come on, Leia, like, you know, he saved you. He got you out of that prison, like... And so she thinks it's a ploy, um, but I, you know, that's also adding to her character. I feel like that's totally in line with what something that she would do as well. Definitely, I was laughing too when she like when he goes to buy her like the cape or whatever, and she's like, "I want the gloves too." He's like, "And the gloves too." <laughs> right, a uh, little little uh, comic relief. Uh, Definitely, it doesn't hurt anyone. Um, but yeah, and then of course she's running away while getting shot, and yeah, poor yeah, Obi. And then the, <laughs> and then Reva takes. You know, when she's on the rooftop and there's all that fighting going on, I'm like, oh, she's not that far away. She's going to get there pretty fast. It takes, like, so, so long. long, apparently. Well, Obi's getting shot from, like, two angles. Like, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that, and, you know, but he, uh, it was cool to see that he was, you know, going to use the force again. He was, like, really, like, hold on. And he, like, 
catches her before she falls. So, you know, yeah. it's, it's one of those things that it's like, it's a big step for him. You can tell it was like, he was like, holy, I haven't used this in a while. Mm-hmm. Um, but he was able to use it when he needed to. Um, but obviously it's like, you know, it's like he's trying to, he's trying, he's back in the gym after taking like 10 years off. And he's like, he's trying to like lift his, uh, his old PR. It's like, no, totally. you know, that ain't going to happen. It, it definitely took a lot out of him, but I think him doing that, like solidified Leia's trust in him you know what I mean like Mm -hmm. she was very hesitant obviously she was running away from him like he uses the force to save her and she's like yeah okay I can trust you yeah she's like oh okay so you are a Jedi it's just like okay yeah thanks for believing me now that we almost died um and then yeah and then of course uh you know Haja steps up and he uh, he goes to to do the right thing he sends him on the cargo ship um mm-hmm. but then of course he tries to stop Reva, which is like man like you did your due diligence you don't need to do it anymore yeah it's like he you know he probably made it worse by stepping in there and i'm surprised she actually didn't just kill him to be honest like, right like i thought for sure like she would have just killed him like being like get out of my way but uh that didn't happen no but um, she does steal the information from him and therefore she's able to find them pretty quick yeah, and it's like she doesn't actually ever get to see Obi Wan, and then the Grand Inquisitor steps in, and she takes a lightsaber to his chest, which is like shocking because you're like, what? But at the same time, it's like I don't think that he's dead. Like I don't. No, he can't be dead. He's in Rebels. That's the thing. Is like, and this is this is technically set before Rebels in this time period. So it's like if we know that he's alive in Rebels, and in spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen Rebels. Um, but he's not gonna, he's not gonna be dead, right? No. He, he can't be, because he's in Rebels, and, uh, unless they have, like, a clone or something pop up, or something, but I think it makes it too complicated, so, I think what it actually is doing here is it's setting up that she's turned on the Inquisitor. She's and gone the Grand rogue. Inquisitor, he's still gonna be alive, but then they're gonna be after her. Yeah, I agree with that. It's adding another layer to, like, this chase. She's after Obi-Wan. And the Inquisitors are after her because she's now gone rogue after stabbing the Grand Inquisitor. And obviously, if he's in Rebels, then he can't be dead. No. So, But it, it sets it up in a way where she can get away from the Inquisitors to face Obi-Wan. Um, because she's like, well, this is how I'm going to redeem myself if mm-hmm. I get bring him back. So she's going to go tooth and nail to get him back. But it also se- se- separates her from the Inquisitors. So that they can have maybe a duel or something where, you know, it's not all the Inquisitors are going to be alerted to his presence. Um, Definitely. So, and she's going to be, she's going to want to hide herself too. Mm -hmm. Um, So definitely setting up for that. I think that they're covering it from all these angles, which is, which is nice to see in the storyline. Man, but she drops a bomb on Obi. Right. And I'm like, actually, like, I'm actually pretty surprised that, I mean, I guess it makes sense. I think, I I guess Obi-Wan would have thought that. You know, Anakin would have been dead. I mean, he left. He <clears throat> like leaves him for dead on yeah. Mustafar with no limbs. Like, so you you would think, okay, yeah, he's dead. He's he's gone. Or, but at the same time, it's been ten years. You don't think that he's like heard anything? I mean, I guess he's on Tatooine where he's like pretty isolated. I mean, but... I feel like he's he's like completely disconnected from the Force. He's living his life as a hermit. It doesn't really surprise me that he has no idea. Anakin is alive, but then of course she drops this bomb on him that he is, and like, that leaves him shook. He's just like, "What? How on earth is Anakin alive? Like this is crazy." Yeah, and it's like, uh, I don't know. It like it on, on some level, it it's it's like, yeah, okay, I get that. But at the same time, I thought I thought he would have known because it's like you know, or or why else is he like so hidden? Like if he if he if he thought he defeated Anakin. And the Empire's still rampant, and there's these Inquisitors. You would have thought, okay, he's going to be like, yeah, I can take these guys on if Anakin's already gone. Like, you know. Um, and he knows of the Inquisitors, so it's like, I don't know. Like, um, yeah, it, it, it adds another layer for sure of, of that emotionality. But on the other hand, it's like, I'm actually quite surprised that he didn't know. Mm-hmm. Um, but I guess, like, how would he in yeah. some senses? So um, I don't know how I feel about this at this moment. Um, I'm kind of shook by it. (laughs) (laughs) Um, but, uh, what really shook me was that at the end we get to see Vader in the scene and it was nuts. Hayden Christensen is in that tank, you know, he's, he's all done up like Vader. You can see that he's all scarred and he's, Mm -hmm. he's trying to heal. Um, so we're seeing how he gets, he gets that progression to, you know, from (laughs) the Anakin we see in episode three to the Anakin we see, you know, helmetless in, uh, episode six, right? Yeah. 
Um, so you know he's he's making his uh, he's making his healing process be known. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, that's really cool. And I, and I yeah, I mean, I really hope that they get to meet Vader and Obi. Like I had, I feel like that's what they're setting up for. The and second still Battle unsure, of Mustafar. I'm still unsure if it's gonna happen though. You know, I'm I'm still unsure and. Uh, and I have my fingers crossed that it will because, you know, everyone wants that fight to happen because it's it, it'll probably just be as epic as episode three's. Uh... Definitely. But Obi's really got to, like, get better with his <laughs> Jedi skills before he faces Anakin. I mean, Anakin's been just vadering for the last ten years, so <laughs> Obi's going to look like a fool if he doesn't start uh, poning in on his skills a little bit. Yeah, well, I mean, then it would be kind of an even match because, you know, Vader's got no limbs. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Obi's kind of rusty. You know, it's, it, it's, it's going to set up for some cool stuff, I think. For um, sure. And I'm actually really hoping that we get to see Obi use his lightsaber. It's like, maybe that's the next episode, the next step, because it's like, okay, first he uses the Force, and we're like, oh, is he going to use his lightsaber? He's like holding it. Oh, no, he doesn't use it. Um, so maybe next episode we'll get that. Oh, I would love that so much. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so in terms of a rating, I'm going to give this episode a 7.5 out of 10. I really loved seeing Obi-Wan and Leia together. I thought that the the chemistry the two of them had was really fun. They She's just so stubborn and like mm-hmm. he's just like a quintessential old man trying to deal with a little <laughs> child. So I loved that. I loved the chase scene and all of the actions. I really felt like the episode did advance the plot this time. It didn't really beat around the bush and slow things down. It just kept going right at a great fast pace. And mm-hmm. yeah, I really just can't wait to see Obi whip out his lightsaber in <laughs> the episodes to come. So 7.5 out of 10. Nice. Yeah, I'm actually going to give this one a, a 7 out of 10. Um, you know, I thought Dayu was really cool, the scenery there. Um, you know, and, and I'm all about the emotionality that they're, they're bringing to Obi-Wan's character. So I'd love to see more layers of that being, uh, shed, um, you know, with him using the force finally, um, finding out about Vader and yeah, we get to see Vader in the tank and, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's really setting up for something special you feel. So yeah, seven out of 10, great episode. Nice. And there you have it. Thanks for watching everyone. What did you think of this episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi? Let us know down below in the comment section. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more great videos to come. We hope to see you all again in Leia's Lair. You are not a Jedi yet.